Chapter 5, Special Occupancies. And take a look at some of the unique occupancies. And Brian, maybe you can pop up NEC uh, uh, NFPA link yep. and go ahead and talk to us real quick about some of those occupancies. All which right. ones are important and which sure. ones? Sure. Well, I mean, they're all important depending on where you work in the industry, right? And we have uh, Article 500, 501, 502, 503. All of those are, are hazardous and classified locations articles, and we're going to talk about what those are individually. Um, 504, 505, 506, getting into some really specialized stuff. Um, right, one second. We're not covering 503. We're not covering 504. Not We're covering not covering 505, 505. Not covering 506. Not covering 506. 511, commercial garages, repair and storage garages. We are covering that. Um, five. I, I don't think it's moving on the screen, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's, okay, okay, yeah. go ahead. Um, 512 cannabis oil equipment, we're not covering. 513 aircraft hangers, not covering. 514 motor fuel dispensing facilities, and 515 bulk storage plants, and 516 spray applications, not right, covering stop. any of those. All right, stop. I'm getting bored. Okay. There's a <laughs> bunch of stuff in Chapter 5. And what's important, and what I think is going to be relevant almost to everybody in my 50 years in the electrical trade, anytime I've ever been asked a question, ever involved, I make sure we cover it. So there are unique scenarios that we're not going to cover. And so for those people that apologize, but we're not getting in there because I get bored real quick. <clears throat> there we go. First thing is Article 500, hazardous classified locations. Talk to me and talk to us about this triangle and, and how this ties in to class one, class two, and class three, as well as, you know, zone. Talk to us. What are we talking about when we're talking about hazardous classified locations? Yeah, we don't want things to blow up. We don't want things to burn up. <clears throat> and so uh, you have certain gases that, like hydrogen, for example, methane, uh, flammable gases, and <clears throat> they'll, you're in, if say you're in an outdoors location, there'll be a certain amount, there might be a certain amount of gas mixed with air, what have you. You have an explosive environment. Um, and okay, so we have the gases. Which is the fuel. And we have the three parts. Talk to us about what, what's going on here. Most of the times, <clears throat> okay, so you have to have oxygen in order to uh, co have combustion, have a fire. You have to have three things. You have to have the fuel, you have to have oxygen, and then you have to have so heat or some source of ignition. And so most things, if you have in a container, they're not going to burn because there's not oxygen. <laughs> Thank you.